Alright. Let's try making this completed bridge face the other direction. Just to see if it shows me anything cool. I like the- I'm just really happy you don't have to resolve the entire bridge. That'd be brutal. Alright, so this lets me stand here. Where these ropes are attached. Which helps explain how this place was built to some extent. But does it give me a perspective on something besides looking cool? Don't think so at the moment. Let's go ahead and make it for look forward. It might have just been a secondary location where they try to give me another chance to notice the fact that you can make it look different directions. Or maybe it serves a very important purpose I'm failing to recognize. I will accept either of them. Did I make a mistake here? Oh, I went too far, didn't I? Was it this? Yeah. I think I made the gap one tile too far. Alright, forward we go. So what have I accessed? Oh, it's one of these. It's one of you weird puzzles. So the solution's over here. I mean... That? There's basically nowhere else to go. I go over here, I guess. And that wouldn't work. So I keep thinking you have to go up. Maybe you don't have to go up. What if the number of triangles counts the number of times you have to touch the edge of the surface? I wish I could go this way and somehow solve it to test that, because I'm, I'm on two sides of the triangle here. Because this is one side of- this is- this touches one side of the square. And this touches two sides of the square. So maybe. Previously I thought the arrows meant you have to go forward past the thing. But here you clearly- I'm walking this way, but... Maybe you have to go two sides then go forward? We'll figure it out. We'll slowly narrow down the rule set as we encounter more of these. That's interesting though, they use this mechanic and the swamp mechanic in conjunction to give you a secret. But just a secret. This is not part of the progression of this area. It's just more puzzles. What's my number at now? 290 plus 41. I was excited to see that because the, uh... <laughs> these bridges have so many puzzles in them that this is... This is a zone that boosts your number for sure. I mean, how many were involved in just these two bridges here, let alone, let alone the other ones we've done in the area already? It's like grinding. Not in, that it, not, in, not in that it's repetitive and boring, but in that it just makes a number go high. Is what, is what I mean. So this purple thing should be the only thing left to do right now, right? Yeah, the first thing I saw and the last thing I do. Oh, we're mixing mechanics again. This time we're trying to draw a shape that incorporates all of these pieces together. But we want to keep the suns together, too. Ah, that was close, but no. No. Let's see. What if I just grab one of you? And then leave you for the return trip? Yeah. Got you. No. Oh. See, to grab this, you're trapped. and So th this has to be the last one because it's, it's attached to the hallway that leads to the exit. Which means I have to come down here at some point, even though I'm starting here. Which means that this one has to be the second to last one, because I have to come backward on the return... ...trip. But how do I do that? No? I'm wrong. I am wrong about something. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can't, I can't make that return trip, though. If I wrap around the suns together... No, we're still stuck here. Wait, that was it. Yeah, just go one up further. No. Yeah, the one thing you'd want to go through is like right here, which cuts the suns off and ruins everything. Alright. What am I missing here? I am missing something here. Just the simple fact that I can't return in that direction ruins everything! Yeah, I feel convicted. I feel c convinced that going down here has to be the end part, end point. But how do I not how do I deal with the, the, the getting these two suns together 
Let's try let's try just checking. Just to be sure. Does isolating them definitely fail me? Yes. Okay. So I need to find what I'm missing here. Here we Yes. Alright. So you loop around here, go. Yes. My assumption was wrong. It's not the last one. There we go. It's one of those things again, you just gotta stare at it or maybe even just blank your mind and try starting over at the puzzle. Because you can make assumptions that ruin everything. Should be good. Yep. But now I, I just need them in pairs, right? So as long as they're in pairs, we're good. Yeah! Okay, what the deal, Leo, with you? Oh, that <laughs> traps me pretty bad. What if I... Huh. So we need a way of making most of a circle around that thing in order to grab the dots. What if I'm just what if I just pass by it twice? But I have to pass by it twice and like like what if I pass by it in that Ooh, there we go. That was almost my solution, but then I went and had to deal with this problem. Which is that I don't have a way of getting out of this alive. Dang it. It feels close though. If ooh, what about if I do that? Right. I somehow did that not come out the way that I thought I was going to. Um, I thought I was going to loop around in just the right way to make this uh, thing incorporate with the pr first one, but it's not going to. It can't, actually. And I can't grab that right now. What if I could somehow do this? No. Yes. Now that now they're together. But how do I grab the other one without locking it out like this is the problem. I can't just go past it because they get stuck. Maybe I loop all the way around like this? Yes. There we go. So many configurations to look at, but we got it. Where do you lead to? Hello, Bay. Ooh, right down there is the thing I was trying to solve before, right? Or I need the right perspective? Maybe I can do it from inside this house. It's right down there where, yeah, something was in the way in every direction. Hello, you. Pro probably do it halfway across this bridge or something. So many bridges around here. There's one over there, too. And that one almost leads to the solution. But I probably have to combine it with the other bridge, too. What's down there? That's a whole area I'd... Oh, no, I've been there. I've been there before. That's the back roads behind the swamp. Alright. Next bridge. So just separate these two colors and we're good, right? Yep. And... Interesting. Separate one color and we're good. Yeah, as long as one of them gets cut off. Separate half. Yep. So now we're, we're basically doing two kinds of segregation. One is numerical and one is by color. And it gets weird. So keep all the... Okay, this got weird. We inverted the colors where now the... Instead of orange stars, we have these things. So the stars are the ones you have to have two sets of two of, right? We have to keep it separately from the blacks, I assume, too. I assume you still don't want to mix them with the black pieces. Okay, that was a solution. Hopefully for the reasons I think it is. I assume we're keeping the black and oranges separate now, and the stars are still on sets of two, and the colors are irrelevant, aside from just showing which ones are different from each other. Alright. Let's look at slightly... Disorienting at some point. Let's double check real quick. Did any of these have alternate solutions? No. Just wanted to make sure. So. Basically, I want to... I need to find a way to incorporate these two 
with those two or just separate them all together like this maybe that's actually good isn't it the blocks are segregated and there's two sets of suns yep that was actually the solution i was practically i was kind of just fiddling in that and i had landed on that one before i actually finished solving it in my head so all these oranges all these oranges can be together but the purples you don't want to incorporate them like that so let's isolate two of them Maybe two more of them. Maybe you'll just isolate these two first. And then these? Is that... Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah! So... this is, is that the same exact configuration again? Yes, it is, but there's different breaks. Did I use those breaks before? Yes, I did. The one on the left is the one I used last time. So last time I did this, and it was a problem. Because you can't break them off. So what if I just cut this one off instead? And allowing me to make the same shape-ish, but cut one of the purples off here. Is that still two in every- yeah, I think that's still two purples everywhere. No, but the oranges are with the greens and it ruins everything! Oh, goodness me. How did I do it last time? Is it in the same spot? Right, because I just drew the, the line straight down last time. Did I make that- How did I mess that one up? Oh, did I mess that one up? Hang on a second. Oh, right, because I cut straight across and they're blocking me there. Duh. That's why it suddenly gets hard to separate them. So what if I go like this and go straight across like that? Now we're good? Yes, we are. These just keep going. I think that's the last one, though, actually. That one looks, looks like it points directly towards the solution. And yeah, the path I took to get here was super complicated. And that it would take a long-ass time to run across. So I doubt that I run this way, so uh, making the other bridge face a different direction must be the shortcut I need to make it in time before the timer runs out. Unless they make the mistake of letting me turn it on from here, but yeah, no, there's, a, there's no line of sight. Still don't have the right line of sight for that, huh? Maybe it involves that black? Maze? Oh, there's a bridge over there, too. So after I turn on the laser, there must be another place I can access over there. Anyway. That one's straightforward. Oh. So when they're white stars and white pieces, does that mean that they can't be with the black pieces at that point? I guess we'll find out. This is simple, right? Yeah, that one's straightforward. Keep the black pieces away from the white pieces. Oh, oh, jeez. My mouse inputs are interpreted in fascinating ways sometimes. So that was bad. So don't put them with the black pieces. Is that how I did last time? Oh, I isolated, I isolated them from everything last time, so it didn't matter. So don't put them with the black pieces. They can only be with two of their own color, even if the color is not a star. Oh, they're making sure I understand that right now by making me isolate one... Oopsie. One black piece to go with it. I have done this the wrong way. Go around this direction instead. There we go. Oh yeah, has to be two whites. That's what the sun demands it. Okay, we have to separate the white one from the green, because the green will get angry. And to separate the green one from the purple. And the purples are- oops. I failed to successfully separate. There we go. So two purples, so we have to separate all of them from each other now. Because if the purple catches wind of the other purple, he's gonna be angry about the purpleness. Um... How do I go about doing that? Let's see. Now, if I do this purple and... Doing this purple and green and yellow. I mean white. Wow. I'm just saying colors that are not even in front of me right now. Does that separate all of them? Except for the part where I can't do this because it cuts me off from going up there. Okay, you, you're causing me some strife. Oh. Are we good? We are, right. The green and the white don't have to be separated from the stars because they're... Because 
These things only get mad at other blocks, but these things include everything. There are multi-layered puzzles to solve here. Oh, weird. So we need to wrap this around so the green... So this purple touches that purple, for example. But while we're doing that, we also need to separate them from this green. Got it. And here's where the alternate solution comes in. Interesting, it can't even... Oh, wait, no, it, can't, it does keep going for a while. So, because of the other bridge, I know that I want it to come over here. In fact, for satisfaction's sake, I'm going to go back and make that bridge face this direction. Just to be ready. There we go. I extended the other bridge to its maximum length in this direction. Which I should have had the forethought to do in the first place, because I knew I was going to do this in the, ultimately. But then I just didn't do that. So I think I want this one to go that way, ultimately. Probably. Yeah, it has to connect to that at some point, or it doesn't go anywhere. But we also somehow have to connect to this thing. Interesting. Alright, we'll figure it out. So first of all... Need a way of separating these... Oh yeah, sets of purple. It's like one of each right there, for example. Then the greens. So like, that's, that's one solution, for example. But it goes the direction I don't want it to go in. Which means we need to find- we need to create a wibbly-wobbly line that goes that way instead. I could just keep solving these, though. Hang on a second. Just keep solving this because I can. Let's see, those two purples- we should have to separate this, right? Yeah. Because the two purples there don't affect the blocks. That's the same thing, isn't it? Wow, yeah, these are- some of these are barely puzzles. Here we go. It's- it, it is like an ongoing test. Wait, does that go somewhere? That keeps going that way. So this gives me access to whatever is behind the laser. But doing that must be how I actually access the laser. Because... I have to go fast. Because it took a long ass time to run over here, frankly. When I had to run over there and back. We'll just keep solving this for now, though, just to see where it goes. Alright. Huh. So we want to keep these two blacks separate from the white ones. I think we're now good, more or less? No. Separate these. But if I, if I do it this way, it'll be mad about those black pieces. Yeah, doing it this way doesn't work. Oops. Doing it this way doesn't work because we have a black block with the white blocks. So that means that if, if any two stars are going to be staying with the white blocks, it has to be these two stars on the left, probably? Or some configuration thereof. Oh wait, what if I do straight across? There we go. I was one turn away. Black pieces. We can incorporate some white pieces and it won't matter. Incorporate all the white pieces and it won't matter. But then... I need a way of separating... That I don't necessarily have. Okay, so what if I... Separate the two black pieces... And then I just connect these two black pieces with the remaining white pieces. And we're good? You got it. How about you? Okay... Let's try to immediately wrap in some of the... What if I even come, come all the way this way? Just wrap in some white pieces with the black pieces and we're good? Wrap in as many white pieces as we can with these two black pieces over here, because they're sharing a side and that puts us in trouble. Come around this side. Yeah, there we go. I got the hang of this kind of puzzle, more or less. It gets harder when they start incorporating completely different mechanics with them, is when, is when they can really mess with me. Interesting, two sets of stars. So we have a white block, but the white block won't be incorporated in the sets of stars because there's two of each, so they have to be with each other, or they will flip the fuck out, as it turns out. So, going straight across here. Solves the beginning of this puzzle. Doing that even does good. But ultimately I need a way of isolating this piece from the other ones or they're going to lose their minds, as it were. So... How do I go about that exactly?
Yeah, how do I? I'm not sure what to do with these two black stars, because it's, it's wrong right now, right? Yeah. The wrong number of things around them. So presumably in order to separate the black stars from each other, I'd have to do something like this. I have to do this little L shape right here to separate them both from the white block and each other. But how do I separate them from each other on this side is what I'm wondering. Because the moment I go like this, it doesn't work. Go like that. See here, if I go up, those three are stuck together. If I go this way, those three are stuck together. But if I but if I go that way, then all four of those are stuck together as far as I can tell. Oh, if I can't isolate them that way, then the way I isolate them is to cut them across the center. And then like this. And then a and then it still doesn't work. And then it still doesn't work. Go around the other way then. Like this. Yes. No. Oh. Okay, so touch the wall then. And then we're good. Got it. Got it. Alright. That had a series of revelations involved, but it eventually happened. We got one of these again. Interesting. In the same zone. So that's the solution. That's the thing. So only let's try only touching it on one side. Got it. So just to be sure, this one doesn't work? Nope. So maybe it is touch them on that many sides. Let's see. Where's that shoreline puzzle I saw? Damn you trees, get out of the way! Oh, there's a- damn it! That's the one I still have to do. So there the trees are in the way. I think I do have to get on that black, burned out one. Can I make this turn that way? I can make it turn that way this over here. But would it go far enough? A little hard to tell. So right now it goes here. That solves this. Let's see what's behind here. This takes me right up to the laser platform, which is useless to me. In this capacity. And it looks like standing up here I could sol I could make this thing change direction if I want to. Which I also don't have a reason to do from up here necessarily. Unless I get trapped somehow. Trees, laser. Are these tree chops gonna- are these tree tops gonna somehow form a uh, a lasers from some perspective? It, it's not inconceivable considering the color changes. But anyway, I don't think we have access to a new puzzle on the sand looking from here. So ultimately this- coming this far just gave me access to that, so it was worth it. There was something hidden over here, but ultimately I need to make this thing change direction. And if I do that right now, it might freak out. So if this one's gonna make it turn right, I need to go right by like two or three. Then I need to turn left. No, oh, here. Oh no, yeah, they don't line up, so we're good. So now I just need a solution that ends over there. So... Let's try... Bring these, you two together. Then you do two together? That does not work. Because uh, they're still purple and green together. But it seems like it might be a start in some capacity. Oh, what if I just wrap around? Oh yeah, I can just wrap around and do this. And all that's with the green is the purple stars. There we go. It's kind of satisfying watching this thing work itself. Alright, so that just like that, these are now within walking distance of each other. Meaning I have access to this door. So now I just need to get back to that control panel, which I can't do from here. You do have to get all the way back down. But this should be a generally a short path compared to how long it would have been if I went the other way, right? Maybe not, I don't know. I'm just sticking with this strategy. It seems complicated enough to be the right solution, but I don't know. Running time, I really hope I remember which way I'm trying to go. Cause it's a little hard to remember exactly where I'm going. Come on. Come on. 
No! I was slightly too slow. Oh! I can make you... T they timed it specifically so that method doesn't work. I can make you turn left here. That's what's going on here. Okay, because this, this ends right here, so I can make you turn left and we're set. Making the time trivial by comparison. So how did I separate you last time? It was like this, right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is true. So then the timer is... Oh, I right-clicked. <laughs> this makes the timer super short compared to how much time you actually need. Alright, we're in. And there's you. Laser! It's been a good day for me. I did two la did two lasers today. Let's watch this firing ma this firing setup now. It's always satisfying to watch those things fire up. There we go. So now there's... Let's see, I, I count... One, two, three, four, five lasers coming at it from this side. There should be one behind the mountain going straight up at it from the greenhouse. And then there's one laser that should be going off into the, into the nowhere from the desert. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lasers are active at the same time right now. 318 plus 41. I'm starting to wonder how many lasers there are in general. I'm also kind of wondering how you get to that burnt out building. Because it seems to be the only way you would get that. Maybe I, maybe from that purple building. Let's get a, a closer look from over here real quick. There's so much foliage in the way though. Nope, the building itself gets in the way from this perspective. So there must be some way to get to this burned out building, I think. Unless I'm crazy. It just seems like every other direction has it blocked, but if you if you were I feel like if you were standing right there, you'd have the perfect line of sight for that thing. But maybe it's something else too. I think even when I stood over there where the triangle puzzle was, I think there was something else blocking my line of sight. That's where I started, right? Yeah. I think I finished this area, aside from stuff like that shadow thing that might cause me some confusion. Wow, this place was really like a thorn in my side for a while, just looking at it looking complete all the time. So it's really satisfying to have it done. But yeah, I can't... Damn you, damn you foliage. There must be... Yeah, let's, let's try making a turn left. Let's see how that goes. So I just need to invert this plan, right? Except that doesn't work? No, it, it totally works. Just go this way instead. And that should work. How far do you reach? Do you reach where I want you to? Oh, it totally does. I didn't think it was going to reach this far. I wonder if I've missed any audio diaries around here. The place is so colorful I could see myself not noticing them. Hey, you. There's that one done. I think I saw that one originally like 10, like 10 episodes ago. So it's nice to get that one done. I immediately knew how to solve it, too. I just needed to figure out how to stand in that place that I knew I had to stand in. Are there any other ones around here? That might be it. Alright. Now I just want to take that elevator to get out of here. So, loop it right back around the other side. Oopsie. So the good news is, now we know how these stars work, so now I can go revisit the quarry yet again to make more progress there further giving us more ability to unlock stuff in places we've already visited, as opposed to going to brand new places altogether. You go forward. There we go. So yeah, I'll be putting this bridge back so that I can, I can use my shortcut in the future instead of taking the boat. That'll be nice. Yay! You start kind of memorizing the solutions really quick. So there we go, we have access to here, cost this bridge. One, oh yeah, I think that when I, 
This one right here is the one I just did, I think. I think that's the right one. So that means we have all three of them done there. There's three in this direction. That one's crazy because it looks vertical, like it might, might go down the side of a tree or something. There's definitely some weird treehouse puzzles I have not noticed because those three are all on the floor. These are treehouse things. These seem to be on... I think this side of the thing is all the ones that are on the ship, and I think this is the ones that you see when you go past the ship. I think these are on the ship and those are outside the ship, but I could be wrong. But the ship is just... Like, we've seen the ship. It basically doesn't seem to have puzzles on it. It just has these little nightmares all over it. Let's go revisit that quarry.